Hi, my name is Kendrick Celestine. Uh, today in my video, I'm going to be talking about high school mentality. And actually, I want to be some dream. And actually, this is an interesting topic. I, I don't think no one really bothered to address this out. And I just find it's very interesting. Like for me, even like when I when I do when I did my high school years, I kind of spent some time with the friends and all the classes I've enjoyed. And I took to you know, and I actually you know, but the classes I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed was history, astrology. And um, I enjoyed most of the other activities I did, like doing PE, and I also like cooking. I also like other different types of studies, and um, another that stuff. But you know, only reason I'm bringing up about this topic because you know how people got this high school mentality, like they can't really move on to stuff. Well, it's basically you know how they like big experience because they you know they got their funders stolen. girlfriend in their dreams they couldn't get but someone else is like you know how they you know how you want to go out for the you want to ask to this person but this person will give you the time but they will give their time to someone else whether they deal with someone like you because you might be a nerd because you're boring and stuff like that like for me um i wasn't really like the cool or the nerd person like in ice and like i wasn't i was really the average so like everyone else and i never had like a nick pick and choose who i wanted to hang around with i just kind of gravitated whoever just just whatever to see my flow so and I was never really that one of those people and I never really had too much like be like one-on-one -on -one and like you know have me 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 like that I was never like that kind of person like that I did all my fun years and stuff like that you know and that was just the best time I really did but but you know but most of our times today I'm not gonna lie because only reason people got this high school mentality even though they're like an adult body but they don't have like this like they can't really move on because of what's been happening to them. Like I said, like their funder got stolen, they couldn't even get the boyfriend or girlfriend of their dreams and stuff like that. No one wanted really because it was like a reject. No one wanted to deal with them because they're pretty much born and stuff. And like and a lot of times on the level, like I said, like say and I'll get me wrong. I have my rejects like everyone, all the rest of everybody who wasn't really. But some people can't take rejections and. um and actually, I had a friend who's been rejected by by multi by fifty women, and also, and that's a lot. And you know, if you think of like one jet person, you could take some rejections, just one. But like been fifty, they say I don't even know. I, I don't know because one day I when I told my folk that story about it, my grandma and her father laughed to me about it, and I told her about it. So, and all the reason like a lot of people, you see people, you know, okay. Let me get to my part. Mostly people who get in these high positions, but after they get out to high school, like over these 10 or 20 years or 30 years, when they get in these high positions, become managers of corporate, usually they will get back of those who were at least the ones who were like those in high school because then they look their way, they mutilate them, they embarrass them, they make them feel like they ain't shit. And most a lot of times, and they have this hate and their vengeance, and they might say they want to get the payback on the person. And, um, and yeah, one day I was discussing one of my former high school classmates, and I was just me and her were discussing chopping it. And uh, we were just talking about it. I told her this came to my mind, but only the reason it originally came to my mind because it was like a YouTuber. Um, she brought about this, you know, and I liked it what she said, and, and and it got me thinking about what she really meant about the high school um, mentality, and people can't really move on from this. So, and you know what? Mostly, if I see a person with this mindset. What they try to do is like they really looking for payback in your life. But if they, even if you haven't seen them over 10, 20 years, or like to say, because okay, even if I had like, for example, like high school unit. So like for me, I didn't even go to my senior high school unit. And not that I really expected, not that I was desperate, not that I really looked for anything, for none of it. So I'm not looking for none of it. Even if I did miss some of these people or not, it really depends how I really feel about these people. But so, but in reality, it's more like a 50-50 for me because, like, like I said, I never was the type of person, like, like, I'm going wrong. I used to be one of those people who used to get paybacks for others, but I realized in life, you know what, I'm old enough, I'm not to see what they are. It's like, you know what, I'm going to let karma go take care of those that, that punish me the ones they did me wrong. So that's their punishment for their suffering. So I'm like this. Like, if I know a woman I know, I went to high school. I'm going to tell you the story. One day I had this woman I went to high school with. So, she was biracial, but she was mixed. But one day I just talked to her and stuff. And, you know, one day I wanted to, you know, we and her were just talking. But one day I looked there because we were just, you know, one day I was friends. Because, you know, I liked it where it was going. And I just wanted to be friends and stuff. And one day, but she took it the wrong way. Like, I really wanted her and stuff. But I really just wanted to be friends with her. 
I know one day she didn't like turn none of my calls. She stopped being around me and stuff. And I don't know what happened and stuff. But one day she kind of thought I really, but see the way I kind of sent myself to her, cause she kind of thought I really wanted her like that, but I wouldn't really want her. But you know, I just wanted to just be friends and that's pretty much it. But in the other level, I just said like, you know, all right, I'm not gonna waste my time. So I'm gonna move on. So that's pretty much it. And I did move on from that. So I'm not gonna like waste my time with people who really didn't want me. So I'm just like, I moved on from that. So yeah, but all the years would be people who got this like, I'm gonna tell you. And one day I remember I was like, Working a couple years ago, I had a former high school classmate. One day he looked at me, and I never forgot the way he looked at me, and it was with those dead eyes. And I know the way how he looked at me, like he got a hatred. Like it's just something about him got a sick hatred, and he's just mentally sick. And a lot of times, when I observe a lot of the sick mental illness of people's minds, and their like not just their hearts, but in their minds. And I mean, when you look at both sides of them, just the good and the ugly. Like, wow, I can see why nobody wants to deal with him or no deal with her. Because they're like, because look who, they, look what they are, and look what's inside their head. That's what I really look at. So, and I usually just sit back like a day. So, one day I look back, and like when I when I look back at some of the names, what I did during my high school years, but some people I had fun, some people rejected me, and I did some things. And I look at those who rejected me, they pretty much did me a favor. So, so you pretty much did me a favor, not make me deal with being like a baby daddy, not deal with the toxin, not deal with the headaches, and pretty much, and I'm like in the best position ever because, you know, and I think about the years of what's been going but past by, you know what, I'm comfortable, got my own place to live, working two jobs, and you know, most of a lot of times, I really can't complain, so, and my life's not really like the best or the poorest, but it's really average, so I'm like, and I appreciate what, what I get, so. It's not really my like the greatest, but I appreciate what I got, and I'm happy with what I pretty much get. What so, me and the guards, if I'm not gonna like everyone or not, but I still I appreciate myself enough. But other than that, but see, when I sit back and look at mindsets of the high school mentalities I went to school with, and a lot of times it's like a 50-50 when I kind of experience. But yeah, but other than that, generally, but I just have to let you know what's going on. So, and that's pretty much like my take on it. So like I don't excuse me. I don't know if this pretty much makes any sense to you guys or not, but if it makes sense, please comment below if you believe if it just makes sense. All right, but so yeah, just wanted to share this, wanted to get this off my chest, just wanted to share this topic experience. If you guys have something like this similar before, so please share your comments and thoughts. Everything I appreciate you. Do. So anyway, the title of my video is called High School Mentality. So anyway, like, dislike, comment on below, see what you think. I will continue making make more later on in the future. Where we are around the world, please. So anyway, I hope you folks have a good day. Good morning, good evening. This is Kendrick Celestine, and I'm out. And you folks have a good day. And please, move on. Even if you know you've been hurt, but sometimes people who reject you, doing you a favor. So you don't have to deal with their toxic or their mental illness problems. So, so think about this. When you're single and don't have any children, you're in the best position, okay? So look at it like that. So all right. Take it easy. Peace to you guys. Bye now.